and welcome to our sports medicine lab at Shadow Ridge High School. Uh, my name is Miss Kelly Donovan. I'm the Shadow Ridge uh, sports medicine teacher. I'm here to talk a little bit about our program today. Uh, so our sports medicine program is a uh, two-year computer program. Um, we have a sports med 1-2 and a 3-4 honors class. And we also offer a 5-6 honors class and internship is available as well for students that want to pursue a uh, career in the medical field. Uh, some of the things that we go over in our class um, we work on taping skills, so we tape the ankle, the wrist, uh, the toes, the fingers, um, a lot of different parts of the body. Uh, we do some modality skills, so we have an ultrasound machine um, in our lab that the students can kind of test um, out. Uh, we measure range of motion for our rehab units. We use our goniometer tools. Um, we have a lot of rehab equipment, um, our agility balls, the Dyna discs. Uh, we do emergency medical care, so we have some vacuum splints here, our spine board, um, we also do our CPR um, as well, so we have mannequin in the back. Um, and then part of our experience that the students will get is just an in-depth knowledge of the human body. Um, so we have some models as well um, for the students to get a closer look um, at uh, the different parts of the body. Um, our sports medicine program, like I said, is a two-year program. Uh, students do have the opportunity to earn certification. On the 3-4 honors class, they can earn their OSHA 10 cert. Um, and then the 5-6 honors class, they can um, get CPR and first aid certified. Um, and then they can uh, also pursue a certification in personal training or physical therapy tech. Another aspect of our program that we have um, is our CTSO, um, our HOSA organization. This stands for Health Occupation Students of America. Um, and students can get leadership skills and medical training um, that way so students have an opportunity to incorporate this into their class and also participate in after school hours. Um, if you have any questions um, or concerns you can uh, email your school counselor um, to get more information or visit the district website.